Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing super super well. So if you've been following me recently, you know that I've built the first of the Harry Potter June 2021 sets, which is the one that I was most excited about when it got released. It's the Hogsmeade set. Oh my God, guys, when it was announced that they were doing a Hogsmeade theme set, I was like so thrilled because just like with Diagon Alley, how amazing is it that we're seeing a whole new area of the wizarding world that we haven't seen in Lego before? When we obviously got more details, it became really clear that it was going to be slightly smaller scale than maybe we would have loved. Like, don't get me wrong, I would have really happily paid another £370 for a huge Hogsmeade. Take my money, Lego, it's right here. However, actually, for £70, I think we've gotten a really, really sweet set. Now, I've built it on stream, so if you're super curious as to how it was for me um, unboxing these, building these, um, there was definitely a few surprises. I've had so much fun like building these with you guys, even though I was a little bit ill when I was doing it. I just wanted to talk about these sets super quickly, kind of breaking down my favourite bits, maybe what my plans are for them in the future, and if they're worth your money, which surprisingly they probably will be because I've bought them and I love them still. Um, <laughs> Spoiler alert. So here we go. I just wanted to start with the Honey Dukes building. Now this is the first one that I built. Obviously because this is a small set, they're not modular, which is not something that we'd expect with any of the Harry Potter sets anyway, because obviously even when we got the really expensive massive Diagon Alley, they still weren't modular in the sense that they were closed at the back. What we do get though is a really, really cute facade, snow covered roof, really nice colors. I just wanted to put one thing right out there as a disclaimer. I made a boo-boo on the window sticker. Lego is very kindly sending me a replacement sticker, which is so wonderful. But yes, I got it on really wonkily because I was doing this during a stream and like doing stickers on stream really puts you in the spotlight and doesn't really help with the steady hand. However, the stickers for the windows at the bottom have gone quite well, I think. These were actually surprisingly easy to get on, but they're also the first thing that I wanted to talk about. Now, when images were released for this set, I could have sworn these windows with the new lattice design would have been printed. This assumption was based on the fact that this design in Diagon Alley, both on the big and small columns, was printed. So I was like, well, that must be the case for the Honey Duke set as well. Like, obviously, I'm assuming they probably didn't do it either because of the curve, but also because of this, the amount of this set's costs. Now, I was really, really concerned about that. I was like, oh no, it's not printed. This is gonna be such a pain. But actually putting the stickers on the see-through bit, the clear bit, was fine. I got them straight, like, immediately. It was really easy. The stickers that were an absolute pain to apply, though, were the ones above it saying Honey Dukes. Oh my god. So that piece is a round green piece, and that means that you haven't got an edge to align with, and I had to do it about three times to kind of get them right. They're still not perfect, but it's as close to perfect as I could get it. However, I do think that the stickers add a lot of detail that you do really want in a set. I really enjoyed building this. I think the colours are really nice because this sits in a snow covered landscape. I think these colours really make it kind of like a warm, happy place to be. I think the green and the like medium nuka bricks just work really well together. So I really like the coloured scheme they chose. And I'm definitely a fan of the design and the chimneys. I think the chimneys really make it reminiscent of the Honey Dukes and the Hogsmeade that we see in the movies because they have like massive chimneys. Now for the interiors and the minifigures that come with this set, we obviously get the two people that work here and I've obviously momentarily forgotten their names which is just really typical. The interior of the set does rely on stickers quite heavily because both of these big panels on either side here are covered with a sticker to kind of give that sweet jar look. I don't mind actually. These two stickers really add the detail that you want. I don't mind that they add those. I think it's really nice that we get the new Acid Pop minifigure head piece that's nice, nice and printed. As well as the amount of detail in like the builds in the windowsill are really, really cute and I really enjoyed building that. It's, it makes it really colorful and warm. All in all, it's a really small but very sweet build and I really enjoyed this floor. I like that they did tile the bottom. I think that makes a huge amount of difference because it really does give you that Harry Potter Honey Dukes feel. So I'm super pleased that they did tile that in the black and white. All of that is fantastic. I would have loved to have seen more brick build details inside, but overall, for the size the set is and for the price the set is, I think they've done really well. They do, and I have, I've said it before, rely very heavily on stickers to add the detail and the Harry Potter references. Now you get a really small little attic with it, a fireplace either side at the top. There isn't that much. They could have maybe added a few more boxes. I've seen some really lovely mods of this where people have added a little bit more detail up here. But overall, I think they've done a really good job and it has the right feel in my opinion. You get a few nice little details that you build after you finish the Honey Duke set. So you get a really nice little snow covered lantern, 
get a little bench that I've put my Harry minifigure on and then you get the serious black wanted poster. It's actually the same sticker that you use in the Platform 9 and 3 quarters train set so it's nice that they blend in and look together especially because where this set is sitting in my city is really close to the 9 and 3 quarters platform so it's nice that these are the same. I'm a massive fan of the minifigures that come with Honey Dukes. I'm really, really pleased that we're getting two unique new minifigures. I like the prints that they come with. I think they look really pretty. I think the lady's face is the same as Helga Hufflepuff, though with different colours eyebrows, and completely the same as um, Molly Weasley's face, but I think it's a nice face. So I'm not too fussed about that. Also, I just really like that the uh, gentleman has the same colours as the building in his clothes, so he kind of really... They both really fit in, which is nice. Also, there's leg printed on the lady's legs, which, though a bit meh, at least there is like something that ties in the colour. Uh, so this is leg printing because I think there was a lot of criticism in the 2020 wave that there wasn't very much detail on the minifigures. It definitely feels like that was taken on board and there is detail on these minifigures like more than we got before. Then we will be moving on to the three broomsticks which was the second build you do and I really really like it. Now in my stream I've talked about this, the things I would like to change on this but we'll get into that for a minute. We're just going to be talking about what it looks like straight out of the box. First of all I really like the look of the snow on the roofs. I really wish this was just broomsticks rather than a sticker but okay fine. I like Dean's minifigures who I'm just talking about now because I happen to have put him in front. I'm really pleased that we get a second variation of Dean outside of just the CMF because I feel like if you only started collecting recently you wouldn't have had a Dean. He's quite a prominent character, I'm glad that we get a bit more of a version of him. Also I really like his coat and I think it's a really nice piece that you can definitely reuse for quite a lot of other minifigures. I like the antler piece in gold, I think that looks really good. So overall I think it has a really good curb appeal. The one thing I am a bit sad about is that the chimneys aren't higher because I feel like when you see the silhouette of Hogsmeade it's, it has a massive amount of chimneys that are all wonky and huge. I feel like they could have done a little bit more with these ones and I've seen some fantastic mods of those but we'll get into that in a minute. And then we go into the interiors and actually this build has still a lot of stickers but I feel like it doesn't rely as heavily on them to create the detail. Whereas in Honey Jukes, if you took the stickers out, it would not It would feel a bit sparse. This one has a lot more brick build detail that kind of create the cosy vibe, but obviously the stickers massively help with that. So there's really nice little nods. There's obviously the shrunken heads on the doors. There's like the nice wood panelling that the stickers create like on the side of the building. There's a lovely cosy armchair. So there's a nice fire and a little dresser. I think this build overall is super cute. I think my favorite bit is the fireplace at the first floor. Um, with like a nice little detailing and like a wreath above it. It feels really cozy and like a nice place to be. So as atmosphere and capturing the essence of these building goes, I think they've done a fantastic job. My favorite minifigure of this set is Minerva McGonagall. I actually gasped when I was unboxing her just because I absolutely adore the detailing that she comes with. So her new robes are fantastic and I knew that I would really like her but I hadn't really seen the back of her robes before and actually on the back of her robes there is a really beautiful print of a thistle which if you're not from the UK the thistle is a Scottish flower so all the countries in the UK have um, flowers associated a bit like you know the English rose is probably the most famous one but for Scotland it's the thistle and I really really appreciated that really beautiful design and attention to detail at the back. I really love this minifigure and she is just fantastic. I'm so pleased she got leg printing as well. I think this is the second stunning McGonagall figure that we're getting and I'm so very very pleased that there is more leg printing again. I think that's really a very encouraging sign. And I think if you look at the overall um, selection of minifigures we've got in the 2021 wave, there is definitely more detail that's gone into the minifigures. So I'm super, super pleased about that. And now the last minifigures that we needed to talk about is Madame Rosmerta, which I am super pleased we also got in this set. I love her hairpiece, but I am a little bit biased because it's literally the recolored hairpiece that I use for my minifigure, as well as I think her torso looks fantastic. Obviously, as many people have pointed out, the face that her minifigure uses is actually the same one that they chose for Bellatrix in the Burrow set, which is a bit peculiar. I think actually this face suits Madame Rosmerta better. It does mean though that she has a really angry second face. <laughs> but as a secondary character, I'm pretty pleased that we're just getting a version of her. I think she does capture the essence and because of the colours that they chose for her torso she really fits in very well with the with the pub itself. Now obviously I would have really liked these to be about like triple the size mostly because I'm so excited about this theme but with the 
price tag associated. I actually really think these are very sweet builds. I keep repeating it, but you do need to be aware there's a quite a large amount of stickers involved in these sets. And I think if you're into the Harry Potter line, you probably won't be super surprised because generally the Harry Potter sets create those little nods to all the Harry Potter scenes with stickers. But I think this particular one, because the buildings are quite small, they do rely on stickers a little bit more. Most of these stickers actually are really easy to apply. So there's a few tricky ones though. So overall, I feel like the stickers possibly are the difficult one. If there was more printed pieces, maybe I would have happily paid about £20 more, but then I feel like that would have been a very different conversation, so they were like, oh, this is such bad price but pass value. So overall, I think the detail they create are worth the amount of stickers that you have to put on. So as I've alluded to, there are some mods that I'm going to be making to these sets. There are a few things that I would really like to change, and some of these mods have been inspired by some people that I've seen modding these on Instagram already. So there's a few accounts that are doing a really fantastic job. So my first two things that I really want to change are the chimneys on a three broom six. I want to have them taller and slightly wonky because I feel like that would create the illusion of Hogsmeade better. As well as, whereas the big windows in the three broom six have the golden lattice detail, which I think is really beautiful, there is quite a few smaller windows that just have sort of like a tinted blackish glass. Now, I don't think that's ugly. I just know that a golden lattice piece exists for the smaller windows. And I think I'll be replacing the small windows with that piece. I just think it would look better and more cohesive as well. So that's what I'll be changing for sure on this set. On this set for now, I'm not going to be changing very much, but I am planning on buying a second Hogsmeade set at some point in the future just to kind of maybe extend the buildings a little bit, maybe make them a little bit more modular, but we'll have to see because it's going to be massively dependent on space. Because these ones are going to be sitting in one of the Calyx units. Uh, obviously space is always at a massive premium and I already feel like I'm trying to go, I'm trying to put too much detail into that Calyx unit as it is. What I do really want to do is create a third building to go with these, which is Zonko's. Um, I've got a few ideas for the windows and everything like that, and I feel like maybe buying a second Hogsmeade set is going to allow me to have some parts that I could use, which are going to be really useful. But that's all a massive plan for the future. The only other thing I just wanted to mention before I sign off as well is I had some issue that I always do with attaching the roofs of the three broomsticks. It relies very heavily on hinges to create the shapes of the roofs that they are. And I always find when you have to attach two hinges together, like two bits of the hinge, you need to apply quite a lot of force, but sometimes the force goes the wrong way and it like breaks apart the bit that you've spilled. And that did happen to me in this build. So as much as I really like the shape it does create, um, just be aware there's quite a lot of hinges in here and it is a bit of a pain to attach them. All right, that's like my 101 thoughts on these sets. I hope that was kind of useful. Have you bought these yet? Have you built them yet? What do you think of them? Are you going to be buying them? I'm obviously in love with these things. I'm so very pleased that I have them and I cannot wait to build and review the rest of them. I feel like I'm returning to my origins on this channel because obviously I started as a Harry Potter YouTuber because that was what I was going to be collecting. I've just taken such a massive detail tour into city recently so it's really exciting to be back at the Harry Potter sets and just kind of be showing you around because this is you know this is what it all started and I am really excited to kind of create a sort of city-like area with these sets in my Calyx unit. There will be more Harry Potter reviews coming. I'm trying to live stream every Wednesday at 7 30 or 8 p.m UK time so if you ever wanted to join a live stream and just join the chat and see me build some stuff do subscribe and check in on a Wednesday on the channel. Thank you so very, very much for watching and your time, I really appreciate it. And I will see you all soon. Goodbye, hello.